Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the report for Thursday, March 4th, 2021. Free play coming up in college basketball in this report. Real quick note, I've also got a free NBA video up and available for Thursday also. Uh, before I get to the free play here and tell you what's going on with me on a Thursday, uh, listen, if you have yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video and get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can then use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. Real good day for us yesterday. I love it when we cash those seven-star plays for you and for me. It's exactly what we did with that seven-star college basketball conference game of the month as we had Villanova uh, getting the win over the Creighton Blue Jays. Real nice seven-star winner there. They won by 12 after getting embarrassed in Omaha uh, in the earlier meeting. Also wanted to mention we had the win with the Cavaliers in the NBA as they hung on and got the cover as an underdog against the Indian Indiana Pacers. What's going on for Thursday? Well, I've got a six-star play in daytime action in college basketball as we look to continue this run uh, that's produced $4,400 on our college basketball sides. Had a great season, as you know, and thanks to those of you who've been with me. We continue on Thursday. Again, afternoon side in college baskets, and it's six-star status for me on Thursday on my homepage. Also, uh, the star of the show, the seven-star play in the NHL on Thursday evening, and uh, we are now nine in 82% with our last 11 NHL plays. Top of the ticket plays, that's those that are rated seven stars and six stars. We look to make it 10 and two with a seven star play on Thursday. So again, the stars of the show for me on Thursday, seven star in the NHL, six star daytime action in college basketball. Also got soccer going on. Uh, so you can check it all out on my homepage for Thursday. All right, uh, let's get to the free play in college action for Thursday's card. Uh, McNeese State and Nickel State doing battle. The game being played at McNeese State. Uh, Nichols laying six, six and a half. Shop around. I like the underdog in this one. You can find six and a halfs out there at about half the books. First of all, as far as the so-called trends are concerned, Nickel State is normally a little bit overvalued as far as the spread is concerned. Uh, they failed to cash in any of their last six road games against the spread. And again, they're on the road here against a Cowboys team from McNeese State that's covered four straight games. But there's a lot more to it than just how these teams have done lately with their trending. Uh, when you look at what happened in the earlier season battle between these two, uh, McNeese State actually led the game on the road against Nickel State. Uh, a Gosh, I'm going to say there must have been eight, eight and a half minutes to go in the second half, and they failed to win the game. They ended up losing the contest 76 to 69. They were in the game until the end, despite scoring just five points at the free throw line. They had a horrible night from the stripe. They were five for 10. You had 20 free throw attempts afforded to Nickel State. You had a pretty good night shooting wise. I like the way McNeese shot 20 for 39. That's 51% in that game from inside the arc. And uh, meanwhile, you know, Nickel State was able to do their thing. They hit 50% of their shots. But again, it was a case where McNeese State found their shots and they made them except for at the free throw line. And when you look at McNeese State, listen, did they play great on the defensive end? Absolutely not. Uh, but they are 27th in the nation in three-point accuracy. They are hitting 53% just under that from inside the arc. They're two-point shooting. Their effective field goal percentage for McNeese State, 40th in the entire nation. I expect them to put up points in this one against Nick State. Are they going to shut down Nickel State? No, they don't play all that great on the defensive end. Nickel State's okay shooting the basketball, but I think this line is a little bit overinflated. You know, Nickel State at 16-6, and six, looking to take this conference, looking to get a berth, a postseason berth, and uh, so you got to lay a little bit, and I think it's just a little bit too high here. So, recommendation on McNeese State plus the points over Nickel, Nickel State, excuse me, on Thursday's college basketball slate. Don't forget, six-star afternoon play in college basketball on Thursday, seven-star our NHL play on Thursday evening. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put them in the win column on Thursday.